Well, here we are. We're doing a remodel of the bathroom. Came out very nicely. Did some uh, custom made trim with cheap paneling we could find at uh, local hardware supply. Lowe's, in fact, is where we got that. All the way around the bathtub. It's kind of nice. Some of those cheap stick on tiles, epoxy to the wall, a little bit of coloring, uh, marbling, uh, mal can't even say the word, marbling with different colors of paint on top of the tile, all caulked in with some trim made out of dowels, painted, treated. I think it's kind of classy for a, a cheap job. But anyways, what I'm working on here is the sink. We uh, bought these new faucet handles and they don't fit right on the old sink setup because this little thingy here is supposed to catch the plastic handle when you turn it to uh, control the flow of water. But on these new handles, the problem is they're not designed that way. To catch on that, they're designed to catch differently using these pieces here, which fit over the uh, the, the faucet, whatever you call it, thingy there. So, needless to say, it doesn't work on this new faucet. So, what I had to do was uh, devise a, a cheap way to to make them at least workable. Without having to buy a whole new faucet. And here's the, the one I installed with my uh, hacking technology. It doesn't, uh, doesn't turn off, it doesn't have a, a set turn off point. You have to actually bring it to where it shuts it off and see so and just keep going and it turns right back on. So it takes a little bit more work, not quite user friendly, but it does work for the purposes. And what I had to do was uh, cut a couple of the pieces to make it fit. And then I'll take you through the process well, of doing that. First things first, uh, get this thing apart. I'm not really worried about mangling the thing. Just want to loosen that up. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure we turn the water off first, because that will okay. flow through. Got the water off. Finish taking this off. Let's take this little piece off here. Pretty easy. Pop this sucker out. Ah, she doesn't want to come that easy, so we're gonna give her a little gentle manipulation. It's gentle. It's plastic. It's fragile. I don't want to ruin it. It defeat the purpose of uh, doing this project. And we got it out. And we see that this plastic piece getting in our way. This is the piece causing the problems. Can easily be manipulated. Let's do it. Now I've got that piece of plastic junk. It's causing my nightmare. Locked up on my humble workstation here. Nice little hacksaw. And what I'm going to do is just cut off that very tippy tippy part that caused me problems. Oh yeah! Saw away, saw away! Careful not to disturb too much of the internal parts, just the part on the top that uh, is getting in the way. Well, oh, this is what I ended up with. Got that top cut off, not perfect, but it'll work. Once again, it's just a Yankee heck. The next thing I'm going to do is go install it in the faucet and uh, get the thing buttoned down, see if it holds water and functions. Alright, let's get that puppy installed. Got our hacked fitting here installed over the valve stem. The next thing we do is just pop her back into place, make sure she locks up, the washers are all on tight, Put this sucker on. Let's 
down to not whatever the hell it's called. I'm uh, not a professional faucet fixer. Hand tightened, and then I'm gonna tighten it up with my wrench. Okay, now I'm gonna take this fixture, which is for our new handle, get it aligned correctly so it doesn't smush it. And then what I'm gonna have to do is tighten those up the hex key. I'm gonna make sure it's centered over the stem so it doesn't wobble or look cockeyed or anything. I've got to install it right up next to the very tippy top of the stem in order for it to function properly with the new okay, handle. Okay, I got that thing tightened down. It's as centered as it's gonna be. Here's our new handle. We gotta get our little wings to line up properly with the nugget on the inside there. Oh, that one fits right in good. Pop in our screw. Screw that down. And so it's all tightened down. See, it's a little bit of jiggle. I think that's because the uh, valve stem is not as supported as it was before with that other piece that we cut off. So, let's turn on some water. See if this functions. Nope. Water's turned on. I don't see any major leaking. This is all from before. I'm messing with it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any water coming out of there. Seems to be all residual. Let's try her out. Oh, look! There's water flow. Leaking. Uh, no, I don't see any major leaking. Water stops. Both hot and cold both work. New handles installed on old faucet without spending a ton of extra money to replace all the internals. A little Yankee ingenuity for you. Get the job done for half the cost.